Mayong aga sa aton nga mga kauturan, dira sa inyo tagsa-tagsa ka mga panimalay, tagsa-tagsa ka mga puluyan. Kagina welcome namon kamo sa sining aton nga EECQ Extended Enhanced Community Quarantine uh, Resurrection Sunday Service diriya sa Maranatha Baptist Church sa uh, Via FB live stream. Nagapasalamat kita sa Ginoo nga sa Siningadlaw. Isa nindi kita mag magkilit anay. Pero dre makapag kita sa kadaisa uh, paagi sa online uh, live streaming, FB live streaming kag maka isa sa ngaton mga tagipusoon sa pagdayaw sa Ginoo. Ang aton Dios nga mandadaog, ang aton Dios nga buhi, ang aton Dios nga soberano. Ang aton Dios nga matutom kag sa sini nga aga bagay gid lamang nga ihatag naton sa iya nga aton tinagipusoon nga pagdayo kag pagsimba sa uh, aton tagsa-tagsa ka mga puluyan. Ang aton nga uh, bahin, uh, ang aton nga pagtipon may pila ka mga bahin, may pagambahan and then the, the first song was already sung and then we will sing again. And then uh, we will meditate upon God's word, remembering the first resurrection Sunday, the first resurrection morning. So we will travel back to Palestine. We will visit uh, Jerusalem and uh, we will visit the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ once again. And then after that, we will celebrate the Lord's table or the Lord's Supper, or the Holy Communion. Kabay pang ining aton pagtipon, magmangin kadayawan kagkainiaan sa ginoo. This will be a an opportunity and a time for His people to exalt the living Lord and Savior. And at the same time, we can edify one another as members of the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we can also evangelize the lo our lost friends, those who are hopeless, those who are depressed, and those who are, are not in, uh, not yet in the right relationship with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is an opportunity for us to honor the Lord by uh, meeting and uh, uh, by, uh, by uh, studying God's word and by singing and by way of worshiping him let's sing another song let's sing uh, because he lives because he lives uh. 
Sing from your heart. Sing meaningfully. God sent His Son. They call Him Jesus. Hallelujah. 
salamat sa ginoo. Kaya ang aton nga ginoo, nga ginaalagad, our God whose we are and whom we serve is alive. And uh, He is in full control of every situation. He is taking good care of you and He is taking good care of me and uh, each and every one of us. Let us pray. Amay namon nga langit nun, ga pasalamat gid kami nga mga kauturan, hindi lang ang mga katapo sa Merenata Baptist Church diri sa Villa Monte, Bacolod City, kundi kaupod na ang iba namon nga mga kauturan nga nakaskatter sa iban nga bahin sa kalibutan. Nagapasalamat gid kami nga sing tingob bisan hindi kami nagakilit anay sa karon pero pwede kami maghiusa kag mag-isa sa amon mga tagipusoon sa pagdala sa amon mga halad sa pagdayaw kag pagsimba sa imo bangod kay ikaw bagay gid takus gid higugmaon takus gid nga tagaan sang pagpadungog takus sang pag uh, tinagipusoon nga pagsimba kag pagpasalamat kag pagdayaw Bangod sang imo ginhimo para sa amon ginigugma mo kami gin uh, Pahayagan mo kami sang imo grasya, sang imo bugay, kag sang imo kalooy. Tagay kami kaalam sa amon pagpamalandong, sa amon pagtuon, sa imo pulong, buksing amon mga panginoino, buksing ang amon mga ang amon nga mga tagipusoon. Kay nagakilala kami nga kun hindi ikaw magbukas ang amon mga una-una, hindi gid kami maghatag sang atensyon kag interest. Hindi gid kami magpamati sa imo. Pareho sang madamo nga mga tao nga wala sang interest. Wala naga pay attention sa imo ginambal. But at this very moment, we pray that you will open our minds, you will touch our hearts, and you will change our lives. We pray all of these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Take kita magapamalandong sa Matthew chapter 28, 1 to 15, ang aton pagabasahon, ang siling sang kasulatan, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, of him the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, ye, fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here. He is not here. He is not here. For he is reason. For he is reason. As he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and Tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy. And did run to bring his disciples word. Verse 9. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus himself met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Verse 11 and in verse 12, Now when they were going, going, behold, some of the watch, the guards came into the city and shewed unto the chief priests all the things that were done and when they were assembled with the elders the Sanhedrin and had taken counsel they gave large money bribe money unto the soldiers saying say ye you report his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept and if this come to the governor's ears we will persuade him and secure you So they took the money and did as they were taught. 
And this saying, this report, this news, is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. May the blessings of the Lord be upon the reading of His holy word. May I remind you that today, especially this morning, Christendom, Christian churches celebrate what we have come to know as Easter. Easter. Easter Sunday. Muna nga uh, ang iba nag-greet, iban sa aton mga kauturan. Happy Easter Sunday. It is the day, this is the day when we Christians commemorate and we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. However, however, instead of this day, instead of calling this day Easter Sunday, we prefer and we would like to strongly and highly suggest that we name this Sunday Resurrection Sunday instead of Easter Sunday. Oh, but of course, uh, pareho sa iban ng mga traditions held by uh, the church, by the prominent church, mabudlay, it would be very difficult, if not impossible, to get this day, uh, the name of this day changed. But remember, uh, talking about Easter, uh, Easter is actually uh, the uh, sa mga Babylonians, kag sa mga Assyrians, ang ining uh, Easter nga ni, uh, ang fertility. The word Easter came from the word Estar. Estar. So, may gamay nga pag lain sang, uh, sang sound, sang pronunciation. And this is also believed to come from the word Easter, E-A-S-T-R-E, -E, which is the Anglo-Saxon name for the Teutonic goddess of spring and uh, fertility, the pre-Germanic goddess of spring and fertility. Ang yung festival was celebrated on the day of the spring equinox or equinox and many of the traditions used in a worship survive until today. Ano ina ng mga traditions? The, the Easter bunny, the Easter bunny, eh, which is a symbol of fertility. The Easter egg painted with bright colors to represent the sunlight of spring and the giving of baskets filled with gifts or filled with treats. But may I remind you again that the Resurrection Sunday is not about Eshtar. It's not about Easter. It's not about the goddess of sex and fertility. The Resurrection Sunday is not about the Easter bunnies, about Easter eggs, or the giving of baskets of treats or gifts. The Resurrection Sunday is about commemorating, celebrating the fact, the reality, the truth that Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, was dead and was buried and rose again on the third day on that morning of the first Resurrection Sunday. With that in our minds this morning, let's try to travel back to Palestine, to Israel, and try to visit his tomb at outside Jerusalem. So, the title of our message this morning, The First Resurrection Sunday. And let's look at the events at the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ that very day, and we'll try to see what happened that morning and what it means for us Christians, what it means for us believers followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are a few things that I need to point out in this story, in this account, by uh, all of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But our meditation is, of course, based on Matthew. Matthew chapter 28. The first thing that we need to see here is the unlikely envoys to the grave, unlikely representatives, the ambassadors of humanity, to the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, 
who came there to see the tomb. Remember that uh, Matthew records the fact that uh, two women, dua ka mga babae, ang uh, nagkanto dito sa tomb. Kaginingadlan niya sa verse 1, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn, toward the first day of the week, Sunday, the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. For what purpose? To see the sepulcher. Kung imo lantawon, kag uh, imo iobserbahan, kag ikumparar ang, uh, ang, lila, ang accounts, ang istorya, ang kada gospel writers may iya ko galingon nga angulo kag perspektibo sa pag-record sining uh, account. Kag seemingly may ara nga contradiction, nagakontradict ang ilang nga mga nagkalain-lain nga mga accounts. But no, there is actually no contradiction. Kay kon imo nga kon imo nga tunan ining ilang nga uh, lain-lain nga uh, accounts suno sa ila kaugalingon nga ibalo, kag kaugalingon nga perspektibo actually naga prove nga there was an absence of collusion among among them nga wala sila nagkopyahanay wala sila nag uh, nag uh, complot kun sa aton pa nagkanib agud isahon so may nagkasari-sari sila nga mga angulo kag perspektibo and dugang pa kun ikumpara nimo carefully ining seeming contradictions actually naga dula sang amuna nga hunauna nga may actual contradiction. Actually, this is a combined testimony sang apat ka mga gospel writers nga naghahatag sa aton sang very overwhelming, solid, impregnable verification, authenticity of the truth and the reality of the resurrection, bodily resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. But here we see in the book of Matthew, the two women, chapter 28, verse 1, they came to the tomb, and they were dejected. They were defeated. They were discouraged. Da mo amo man sa madamo ng mga katawhan sa karon. Dejected, defeated, discouraged. Well, nakawitness sila sang kagrabe, sang natabo, sang nagligad nga tatlo kadlaw dito sa Golgotha, dito sa Calvary na na ilang uh, nakita na, na observahan kung paano si Gino Jesus napatay dito sa cross. And here, this morning, they were coming to pay their last respect to the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Samtang kita nagkakonsider sa ilang nga mga rason o kung mga motibo nga nagkanto sila dito, dejected, discouraged, and defeated, we can see what they were doing early that Sunday morning. The first one, they came to see the tomb. Ila siguro lantawon that everything was in order at the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ. But they were there to see the sepulcher. And secondly, these unlikely envoys, because they were women, they were women. Ang mga, ang mga kababayinahan sad to, uh, wala ginagamit ng mga witnesses kung sa court of law, uh, kung sa court of law ang uh, paghahambalan. Wala sila gina gamit bilang mga witnesses sa ilang nga gate sa pag uh, sa pag uh, pamatuod sa pag confirm o, o kun pag um, affirm sang isa kay tabo o kun ano nga kaso kay kun maiban pa kun may ara pa nga hindi mapatihan way labot ang mga manugpahalab pati man ang mga babae pero mga kauturan this is a very unique nga classy presentation sa pag verify sang reality sang bodily resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ kay ang ginggamit nga una nga mga first hand witnesses ang una gid nga nakakita kag ang una gid nga nakasaksi first hand nga matuod gid nga dabanhaw si Jesus indi amo ang mga lalaki kundi ang mga babae ina siya nagahambal sa aton nga matuod gid kag solido gid impregnable solid well founded overwhelming ang ebidensya nga nabanhaw gid matuod si Jesus. So they came to the tomb to see the tomb and to smear the to smear the body of the Lord Jesus Christ and this is recorded in Mark chapter 16 verse 1. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome. So mahimo ining mga babae 
na alain-lain, no? alain-lain na mga chimpo nila sa pagkanto. They uh, came uh, to the tomb uh, in, at different times with different groups. So here is another group, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, and they had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. So a kind of embalming the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. They came there para kumplituhon ang pag uh, anoint sang uh, lawas ni Jesus with uh, an embalming spices or ointment. Amunang gindala nila. And thirdly, they came to stay at the tomb. Actually, there was only one who came dito sa tomb kag nagpabilin siya. Sino ini? You look at uh, you look at the passage. This is in Mark 16 verse 9. Now, when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils or demons. So there was one who stayed at the graveyard that day. Her name, Mary Magdalene. Gin, gin hambal git, gin describe git kung sin o ini nga babae, klasis ang babae nga naglinger dito sa graveyard, dito sa nahamtangan nga gin uh, lubong si Jesus. While other women had already gone away, ari si Mary Magdalene nga gin siling out of whom he had cast seven demons nagpabilin siya dito. Kahibalugid siya, nakakilala gid siya, naka-experience gid siya kung ano ang kaayo sang persona nga ginlubong sa sina nga lulugan kag wala nagpaabot nga matabo ang natabo sa iya. And this woman owed so much to the one being buried in that tomb nga wala siya na kebalo nga nabanhaw na. Remember that there had been a time in her life when she had been uh, abused, demonized, possessed by seven demons. Grabe ang na-experience na niya nga pag-abuso, grabe nga affliction sa pito mismo, pito gid ka mga demonyo. But when, he, when she met the Lord Jesus Christ, her life radically changed. Gin bag o gid ni Gino Jesus ang kabuhi and as a response, an appropriate positive response at that, he loved the Lord Jesus Christ more than life itself. So if you remember that she was one of the last uh, to, uh, the, the, the last at the cross, Matthew chapter 27, 61, he was the last to leave uh, Calvary and she was the first to see the Lord Jesus Christ after he had reason from the dead. Chapter 16, verse 9 of Mark. So she loved the Lord Jesus Christ so much for what He had done for her. Surely, sing matuod, sing sigurado gid, her heart was broken that morning, but still she came to express her love for the Lord Jesus Christ and worship and worship Him. Can you identify yourself with these women. Can you relate? Nagapasalamat kita sa Dios sang mga kababainhan nga grabe ang devotion sa Ginoo ikumparar sa madamo nga mga kalalakian. Kun inyo lantawon ang tagsa-tagsa ka mga kaiglisyahanan, sino ba lang matutom nga nagatambong sa mga pagtipon perme? Sino ba la ang mas aktibo? Sino ba la ang mas uh, uh, mas dili diligent and uh, zealous? mga matutom sa pagpangalagad sa Ginoo ang more godly sa ilang mga pagkabuhi hindi bala mga kababayanan nagapasalamat kita sa mga matutom nga mga kababayanan sa aton tagsa-tagsa ka mga pagtipon kag sa aton nga mga kaiglisyahanan nagapasalamat kita well of course ini challenge sa mga kalalakin kalalakinan we thank God for the women but we also would like to challenge the men to show the same level of commitment love and devotion to the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's the first one. We see her, the unlikely envoys to the grave, the women. The second one, the second point, the second thing that we need to see here 
is the unusual emissary to the grave. Kung ang humanity, may ara nga mga unlikely, unvoice, nga ginpadala dito sa grave, heaven itself has its own ambassador at that time. Nagpadala sa ang iya emissario to the grave to proclaim the good news that Jesus is risen from the grave. He is not dead, but He is alive. Now, look look at the... Uh, we th uh, This is credit to Pastor Herald Sumagaysay. Hindi ko kabalosin eh. Pero daw tama ka uh, picturesque sa iyang uh, presentation again share sa aton. Sang nagpakita ining angel who rolled the stone away. Matthew 28 verse 2 And behold, there was a great earthquake. So there was a phenomenon at that day. Earthquake. Why? For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. So heaven sent its emissary that day to proclaim the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance is described. His countenance was like lightning. No kaanga isang kilat. Ang iya mga panapton, ang iya panapton, his raiment, raiment white as snow, puti kaayo, kaangay sang nyeve, and for fear of him, sa kahadlok sa iya, the keepers of the tomb, ang uh, detachment sa mga soldado, Roman soldiers, nga gin-assign sa pagbantay, way labot sang silyo, nga butang dito sa bato, nga nagasira sang entrance sang uh, lulugan, may mga soldado pa, nga gin-assign sa pagbantay, and they became as dead men. So, si Matthew nagsugid sa aton that, uh, uh, that uh, the angel came to roll the stone away out of the entrance of the tomb. Hindi para nga magwa sa si Jesus, kundi ipakita sa mga babae nga wala na unod ang ginlugan ni Ginoong Jesus. According to Mark, Mark chapter 16 verse 1, nasugiran kita, Nga samtang ang mga babae na galakat pagkato dito sa lulugan, ang isa sang ila mga major concerns amo ang pag-remove kung paano nila makuha ang bato gikan sa ba-ba sang lulugan. Remember the stone. The stone represented the finality of death. When somebody is buried there at the tomb, kaginsirahan ang tomb, that stone inang sira naga represent nga matuod gid nga napatay ang tawo nga ara ginlubong dira and for them that stone was an exclamation point at the end of the sentence of death so ginsintensihan sa si Jesus sa kamatayon kag ginlubong kag ginbutangan sang bato kon makahambal pa ang bato pwede siya magsiling he is gone forever Never to return again. Pero nagapasalamat kita sa Diyos. The Lord took care of that stone. Not, of course, uh, through, the, through His angel, not to let Jesus out of that tomb because He was, or, he was, uh, he was, uh, he was already, uh, He has already gone out of the tomb when uh, that stone was rolled away. Again, Gin kuha lang ang bato para nga ang mga babae makakita nga wala na sang unod, wala na dito ang lawas ni Ginesus. So that is one of the obstacle of faith, the stone that was rolled away that day. So the stone was rolled away from the door of the tomb. Kag gin siling sa aton sa kasulatan that uh, the, this unusual emissary to the grave also removed the soldiers out. Pagkakita sa mga soldado, sang iyang countenance nga pariyo sang kilat, his raiment pariyo sang nyeve kaputi, and for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. Ginambal kita, ginambalan kita that uh, Nagkalalipong sila. If you try to see 
uh, chapter 27 of Matthew, verses 60 to, 60 to 67, ginasugiran kita nga ang mga members ng Sadhedrin, ang mga chief priests, ang mga Pharisees, were so concerned about the prophecies of the Lord Jesus Christ nga basi bala magmatuod, ilabinagid ang ginhambal niya sa ila, sa itong dito siya sa templo, destroy this body or destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days. So gusto lang nila nga mapa nga ma-prevent ang katumanan sa gintagna, ginhambal ni Gineso. So they wanted a guard to be posted at the tomb wala labot sang silyo sang gobernador. Now, masubo lamang mga kauturan nga ang mga matag-as nga mga di tumuloo nga nakakilala sang kasulatan na kay balo sang pulong sa Dios mas uh, uh, sila sila pa ang nagapati. Sila pa ang medyo konvinsido nga uh, matuod ang ginambal ni Jesus ikumpara sa sining mga nagaprofess nga nagatuo kay Ginong Jesus. So they sealed the tomb with pilot seal and they posted a company of guards at the door. So in ang detachment of soldiers, nagatindog dira as an obstacle between the women and the entrance into the, into the tomb of the Lord Jesus Christ. However, when this angel appeared, uh, in, uh, he made short work of the soldiers. He removed another obstacle of faith, the guard at the tomb. And look at that. The next thing, he did not only roll the stone away, the heavenly emissary did not only remove the soldiers out, but he also reminded the saints about something. According to verses 5 to 7, Matthew chapter 28, and the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, in the kamumahadlo. For I know that ye seek Jesus, kay balo siya, kung sinong ginapangita nila, si Gino Jesus, which was crucified, ginlansang sa cross, and that's very specific. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, see him, Lo, I have told you. So may mga pila ka mga bagay nga gin make sure sang manugtunda nga kinahanglan uh, mahibaluan nila. And when the angel began to speak to the women that morning, the greatest obstacle in their hearts was removed. What is that? The heart of unbelief. The heart of unbelief. That was removed by that positive, glorious message that this angel uh, gave them that day. So, ang iya mensahe sa ila, nag-inspire, nag-evoke sa pagsalig sa ila, mga tagipusoo, nanungod sa pagkabanhaw ni Gino Jesus. Ano nga mga bagay nga gin uh, pahanumdom sa ila sa manugtunda? Well, first of all, he reminded them about the past. About the past incident. About the past event. And that was the death of the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Actually, hindi na sila kinahanglan panong dumon sini. And the, an and the angel answered and said unto the women, Hindi ka mo mahadlok, kay kay maluko, kung sino ang inyo ginapangita. Sino ang inyo ginapangita? You seek Jesus, which was crucified. Siling ko, hindi na sila kinahanglan pagpa, hindi na sila kinahanglan pagpanong dumon ngayon sini. Kaya to sila to sang ginlansang si Gino Jesus, nasaksiyan nila kung paano napatay si Gino Jesus. But the angel here would like to stress the, the importance in the fact of the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's the reality, it's the fact of the death of the Lord Jesus Christ being stressed by the angel here. Ginpanong dum niya sila sa pagka-importante, pagka-signifikante sa kamatayon ni Gino Jesus sa krus. Remember that his death provided a sacrifice so that sinners can be cleansed from their sins and so that they can be made right with God. Ang kamatayon ni Jesus, importante para sa kapatawaran, sa kasalanan sa tao, agod nga ang nabugras, kag naguba nga kang tanan sa tao sa Diyos, mapasag-o, ma, ma, balik, 
mauli, his broken relationship to God will be restored kag uh, siya nga kaaway sa Dios ma-reconcile sa Dios matigayon ang reconciliation amo nang ginampal sa aton ni Apostle John in 1 John chapter 1 verse 7 but if you walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanseth us from all sin so the angel made sure that they understood the importance, the significance of the Lord Jesus Christ because this is the only way by which sinners can be cleansed from their sins and this is the only way for them to be made right with God. Secondly, they also were reminded by the angel about the present. At that time, at that very morning, on that day, about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 6, Matthew 28. The angel said, this is a strong declaration. He is not here. Wala sadiri. For he is risen. For he is risen. Wala sadiri. Kay nabanhaw siya. Kinpanumdum niya sila. Nga si Gino Jesus matuod gid nabanhaw. Wow, kung ikaw ang nagapamati, kung ikaw isa sa mga babae nga nagapamati dito, ano ang imo ma madumduman, ano ang matupa sa imo huna-huna. That that was actually good news to them. Mayong balita para sa ila. Sa aton, mayong balita. Kay ang imisaryo mismo sang langit. Remember that angels were seen actively engaged in and involved in the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang mga angels were actively involved sa iya pagkatao, pag-anunsyo sa iya pagkatao, actively involved sa pag-strengthen sa iya dito sa wilderness. When he was tempted, he was led by the Holy Spirit there to be tempted 40 days sa wilderness. And uh, God's angels were also actively involved sa pag-strengthen, pag-sustain sa iya when he was in the Garden of Eden. Dito lang sa cross, nga wala batia, kag wala kita ang mga angels. Kag ari naman, ari naman, sa pagkabanhaw ni Gino Jesus, sila ang first proclaimers, sang reality, sang truth, sang historicity, sang pagkabanhaw ni Gino Jesus. He is not here, for He is risen. Ang ginapangitan niyo, wala diri, kay buhi siya, nabanhaw siya. So, Remember that his death was the perfect eternal payment for sin. Ang isa ka dapat ibutang natin sa atin mga una-una that this was the greatest proclamation ever to be heard by men. His death was the perfect, absolute, final, eternal payment for sin. But his resurrection is also God's receipt. Do pa ka ngay resibo for the full payment which was paid by the Lord Jesus Christ at the cross of Calvary. You see, a dead Savior can never ever save. Kung patay ang maluluwas, wala na banaw ang maluluwas, inutil siya ang maluluwas, hindi siya makasarang sa pagluwas. But a living Savior can offer real, genuine, free salvation to all who come to Him by faith. So when the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross, remember that He said, Kaanom niya nga ginambal, Tetelestai. It has been done. It has been finished. It has been accomplished. Ang iatrabaho sa pagtubos, ang iatrabaho sa pagpatawad, sa pagbayad sa kasalanan sa tao, ang iatrabaho sa pagluwas sa makasasala sa iyang asala, na human na, natapos na. Ang kabayaran, na bayran na. In full. He, so he said, it is finished. Kagsang napatay si Ginesus, ang iyakabatayon, ginbaton sang amay. Kag ano ang evidensya, anong pruweba, nga ginbaton sang amay. Pariyo sang high priest, nga nagdala dito sa dugo, sa holy of holy, sa temple, every Yom Kippur, every day of atonement. Mabaton sang Dios ang dugo sang animal nga ginwisik dito, kun makagawa ang high priest. And at this point, the Father 
made manifestation that that the death of the Lord Jesus Christ was accepted as the full payment for the sins of mankind sang iya ginbanhaw ang iya bugtong anak gikan sa kamatayon do kaangay lang nga nagsilingamay i am satisfied when jesus christ rose from the dead he was declaring to the world i am satisfied with what you did for the sins of mankind a good nga bisan sino nga magtuo sa iya indi na mawala kundi makaangkon sang kabuhi nga walay katapusan now the lord jesus christ had proven that he was who he had claimed to be kun anong gin claim niya matuo din na kay nabanhaw siya now he can declare his victory over sin he can declare his victory over death he can declare his victory over sin satan death and the grave and you can now look to him by faith and be confident of his power to save you from your sin. Ang sin o man, wala pa nakabaton kay Kristo, wala pa nakasalig kay Kristo, kinanglan magsalig kay Kristo Jesus, kay iya gin pamatudan at that day, na ang tanan nga gin hambal niya matuod. Ikatatlo nga bagay, nga gin panumdum sila ni Jesus, was His very own words. Matthew 28 verse 6, He is not here, for He is risen, ang siling sa angel, as He said. Tani, wala sila na sorpresa. Tani ni mga babae, kung nagpaminsar lamang, even ang mga disciples ni Ginoong Yesus, kung ila lamang ginpamatian, kaginbutang sa ila mga isip, mga una-una, kagtagipuson, ang ginambal ni Ginoong Yesus, tani ang naggalatabo, pati ang pagkapatay niya sa krus ng Kalbaryo, hindi sorpresa, hindi shocking event or incident para sa ila. Kung ila lang ginpamatian, galing kayo daw nagpabungol sila, wala gid sila nakadumdum sang ginambal ni Ginoong Yesus. Ginambal na ni Ginoong Yesus sa ila. And still they were caught off guard. They were shocked as if ang tanan nga mga nagkalatabo uh, took them by surprise. Dapat nagtipon dito sila kag naghimo sang worship service outside the tomb that, that morning. In fact, they must have made themselves ready to meet the recent Savior that very morning. Pero wala, wala sila nakadumdum sini. And it took that angel of God to remind them about the very words of the Lord Jesus Christ, about His promise that He is not only able to give, to, uh, to lay down His life, to give His life away, but He ho also has the power to take it up again. Mas maayo pa din din ang mga Jewish leaders at that time. Kaya daw mas may ara pa sila, uh, mas dako-dako nga, nga conviction na nungod sa ginsaan ng Inisius ikumparar sa ila. And they were also reminded about the proof. About the proof that, that Jesus Christ is not there and that He is risen. Pariyo siyang ginambal niya. Kaya ginambal sa angel in verse 6, He is not here for His reason as He said. And he invited them, Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Ya, dali, bala ka mo. Dali ka mo. Ay, ginbuksan niya na. Ginkuha niya na ang uh, stone sa uh, tomb entrance. Ya, dali ka mo. Pagkatapos, lantawa. Kung bala, ara pa, ukon wala na. He is not here. And look, come inside. Kung atun tanawon, ang record ni John the Apostle, ginhambal niya ang mga wala ginpanghambal ni Matthew. The fact that the linen cloths, inagambal siya sa parte sa linen cloths that had been wrapped around the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, and these cloths were lying there like an empty cocoon. Daw, pareho nga ang lawas ni Gino Jesus naglusot lang. Nga wala na tandog ang linen cloth. And then, uh, John also made mention about the napkin, that uh, piece of cloth nga gin uh, wrap around the head of the Lord Jesus Christ, and they were and that was there folded in place by itself as if wala na tandog. And that sight caused John to proclaim about the truth of the rea or the reality of the bodily resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That caused John to believe. And that caused John to convince his writers to believe that indeed the Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord of life. He is the very Son of God. He is the promised Messiah. He has 
yes, indeed, risen from the grave. And of course, fifthly, they were also reminded about the plan, about the plan of the Lord Jesus Christ, His commission to them. He said in verse 20, in verse 7 and 8, verses 7 and 8, Matthew 28, He said to them, Now, don't stay here, but you go quickly. Lakat, dali dali lakat, and tell His disciples that He is risen from the dead. Sugiri ang mga gintutunan. And behold, He goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see Him. Magauna siya dito sa Galilea, kag dito ninyo siya makita. And lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear, with that sense of awe, and great joy, and did run to bring His disciples word. They were not to stay. They were to go and share the good news that Jesus was risen from the dead. Those disciples who were cowering in fear, those disciples who were discouraged, who were dejected, who were defeated at that time, needed to know that Jesus is not dead. He is alive. They needed to know the glorious news that Jesus was able to conquer sin and Satan and death and the grave. And Jesus is alive forevermore. Hindi na mapatay liwat. What a glorious message that these women were given that day. That was a message of hope, a message of life, a message of victory. The same message that we need to courageously and faithfully and diligently proclaim. Hindi lang kita magkontento ng magpungko ang aton nga uh, extended uh, enhanced community quarantine hindi ni maga pabilin hasta sano hindi ni mang mangin permanente mangin temporaryo lamang ini bisan ma extend pa until April 30 pero mga kauturan may mga pila ka mga bagay nga dapat hindi kita magkontento lamang hindi kita magkontento sa pagpungko lang kag wala sang ginahimo hindi lang kita magkontento sa paglantaw sang aton mga gadgets kag konsano nga ara dira Hindi lang kita magkontinto. We have been given a commission. We have been given a command to tell other people about the love of Jesus and about what He did for sinners on the cross of Calvary and for the victory that He gained when He rose victorious over death and the grave. Amuning nga klase sa minsahe nga kinanglan mo, ka kinanglan ko, isugid sa iban. And may we never forget that the message of that empty tomb is as fresh today as it was then. Jesus is still alive. And when and men who are trapped in bondage of sin and fear and discouragement, they need to hear this glorious truth. So may we do as they did. Nagdalagan sila pagkatapos na nugiron. They carried the message with swift feet. They ran. And joyful hearts to a world that needed desperately to hear about the recent Savior. Ti subong amuna Japon ang kinanglan mga kauturan. So we saw the unlikely envoys to the grave, the unusual emissary to the grave, the unexpected. Now we see the third, thirdly, the unexpected exhibit from the grave. Jesus appeared to them. Jesus Himself appeared to them. Siling sa Matthew 28, verse 9, first part, And as they went to tell His disciples, Behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail, chariete, chariete, in Greek, Oh, joy. So the Lord Jesus Christ came to them personally, so that they might know firsthand that He had indeed risen from the dead. Manami man nga nakabati ka lang sa iban, sang panugiron sa iban, pero mas maayogid nga ikaw mismo, first hand, ang nakakita sang pagkamatuod, sang natabo that very day. So amugid ang na-experience nila. It was wonderful, a wonderful thing for them to hear from the angel to tell them about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, but that was nothing compared to the appearance of Jesus Christ Himself to them that very morning. What a glorious morning that uh, they had uh, that day. 
So there is nothing more like meeting the Lord Jesus Christ for yourself. Ang bot ko na dumduman mo yad tong tinion nga si Gino Jesus nag-meet sa imo personally and personally na experiencean mo nga siya gali buhi, kag siya gali aktibo, kag siya mapinalanggaon kag mabinugayon sa kabuhi mo. Madumduman mo ayhan, Jesus appeared to them and in response they adored him. Verse 9, second part, and they came and held him by the feet and worship him. Ang pag-bow down, kag ang pag-uyat sa tiil, nagahambal sang uh, submission, sang uh, uh, pag, uh, pag-yaob, pariyo sa pag sa isang soberano o kung mataas ang posisyon. And that kind of worship was given to the Lord Jesus Christ by these women who themselves, sila mismo, nakakita sang buhi nga Dios ang buhi nga Ginoo kag sang uh, Dios nga nag uh, pahayag nag uh, nagpahayag sa ila sa sina nga aga mismo and that is not uh, the only thing that uh, uh, what happened to them at that uh, at that time Jesus appeared to them they adored him and Jesus assured them in verse 10, verse 20, verse 10 of chapter 28, Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. So Jesus Christ comforted them, at the same time confirmed their mission. And finally this morning, we see the untruthful enunciation, announcement about the empty tomb, about the grave that was empty. At that moment, here we see the members of the Sanhedrin who had a dilemma at that time. Matthew 28, verse 11. Now, when they were going, behold, some of the watch, some of the guards, the Roman soldiers, came into the city. They were at that time at the disposal of the Sanhedrin. Nintagaan ni Pilato sang authority. Ang Sanhedrin mismo ang Supreme Court sa Mahudiyo at that time nga mag-take charge kag uh, magsugo kung anong gusto nila sa sining mga soldado uh, nga nagabantay sa lulog nga ni Gino Jesus. So, they did not report to Pilate. They report first to the uh, to the members of the Sanhedrin. And they showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. Kung ano ang gin ang na-experience nila, kung ano nakita nila gin sugid nila sa mga pare. Kag uh, Sang naibala nini, that became a problem to them. Paano nila ini mabilay? Paano nila ini nga manigar ang natabo nga nakita mismo sang mga soldado romanhon sa sina mismo nga adlaw? Look, they did something to deny the reality and the historicity and the truthfulness and the authenticity of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anong siling? So, they nagtipon sila and they agreed and when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money. So, ginbribe nila ang mga soldado saying, Say ye, amun yung i-report nyo, that his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. Grabe nga una-una sa mga tao. Uh, well, of course, paano Maminsar ka, paano ang mga gintutunan magkawat sa itong lawas ni Ginesus? Kay una bes sa uh, nagpalanago to sila, hinadlukan to sila, hindi gani ito magpalapit dito sa Calvary. Isa man lang gani ito nagpakita sa ila, si John the Beloved, John the Apostle, ang iba niya, nagpalanago. Kay paano nga, paano ining ilang nga claim magmangin matuod? Uh, uh, at that, uh, at that time, ba, medyo ano na sila, wala na sila sa uh, iban pang mapinsaran, kundi ibilay nga uh, matuod ang panaksihon sa mga, uh, mga soldado. So, uh, the device is came to avoid having to face the facts. And then, the deception. Look at the next. Oh, anong siling ni sa mga kapari? Verse, 20, verse 14 and 15, chapter 28. And if this come to the governor's ears, siling nila, we will persuade him. We will convince him and secure you. Kaming bahala sa inyo. 
hindi ka mo maano. Kay uh, after all, kung masapuan sa gobernador nga uh, ang uh, na failure sila sa ilang uh, trabaho, uh, the reelection of duty, neglect of duty, mahimo maputuran sila sa ulo, mahimo mapatay sila. Siling sa mga pare, ah, kaming bahala. Kaming bahala sa inyo. So, isugid nyo lamang ninyo nga ginkawat siya sa iya mga gintutunan. So, they took the money. Uh, they were greedy. They were covetous. They took the money and did as they were taught. Ginsugid nilang kabutigan and this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until that day. Ginkawat ang lawas ni Genesius. Mga kauturan, damo sa mga pagtinguha, uh, mga attempts nga uh, ibilay, i-deny ang veracity, ang authenticity, ang historicity, ang kamaturan sa paggabanaw ni Genesius. In fact, may mga a theories nga na come up ang madamo nga mga unbelievers, mga infidels, like the swoon theory. Anong swoon theory? Nalipungan lang si Genesius. Nalipungan lang siya ang bangod sa kabugnaw sa lulungan, nagbalik ang yakusog. Kag uh, he was able to move the stone away. Well, butig. Butig ina from hell. Another one, ang wrong tomb theory. Wrong tomb theory. Nga ang ginbatayan sa mga manugtunda, nga lulungan, hindi ginamutong lulungan ni Genesius. O kon ang mga babae, bangod sa ilang kasubo, nagkanto sila sa in, sa sayop nga lulungan kaladlawan that's a ridiculous uh, kind or uh, attempt sa pagbilay sang matutuod nga bodily resurrection ni Ginoong Hesus mga kauturan as I close let me just remind you that this was the first resur- resurrection day it won't be the last because Jesus lives those who have placed their faith in Him will live too. Those who have died in the Lord Jesus Christ, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, will also experience bodily resurrection when He comes in the rapture, when He comes for His believers. Those in the graves will come forth one day. Muna ang siling ni Apostle Pablo, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13-17. Kagkita ang mga buhi, when the Lord Jesus Christ comes, will never ever taste death. That is our blessed hope. That is our living hope. Dapat amo nang magpaligon, kag magpabakod sa aton mga tagipusoon. Because when the Lord Jesus Christ died, He tasted death once and for all, for all of us. Anong siling sa aton mga kauturan sa Hebrews 2 verse 9? Hebrews 2 verse 9. But we see who was made a little we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels. Kaya ang mga uh, angels wala iya na wala iya nagsuklob sang unod kag pagkatapos wala iya nagantos wala iya nag napatay. Jesus Christ was made a little lower than them. Kaya siya nagsuklob sang unod nagantos kag napatay. But he was crowned with glory and honor when he arose from the grave, that he, by the grace of God, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Pagi sa gracia sa Diyos, napatay siya para sa tag sa tag sa katao, sa tag sa tag sa sa aton nga iya mga tumuluo. Kabay pakuntane nga, ini nagdala, sandako nga, uh, pagpakamaayo sa imo utod, sa sininga May rason gid nga magpamati ka, may rason gid nga maghatag uh, ka sa imo pagigugma, sa imo nga devotion and commitment sa kay Ginoong Hesus. Kay napatay siya para sa imo, kag nagdaog siya para sa imo. Wala kina, wala na sang kinanglan nga madlo ka sa kamatayon. Wala sang rason nga magmangin hopeless ka. Wala sang rason nga ma-depress ka sa sining nga mga kayudan bisan ano pa nga mga sirkumstansya ang ginaagyan ta. Bisan ano pa ang nagakatabo sa kalibutan. The one who died for us, our Savior, our Lord, is alive. And He is actively involved in our lives today. Kabay pakuntani nga ini nagdala sa aton sa pagpabakod, kagpagpaligon. Ang aton meditation, the first Resurrection Sunday. Let us pray.
our dear God, our gracious Heavenly Father, there are maybe people who are lonely and sorrowful at this time. They are depressed. Lord, they need your strength. They need your sustenance. They need a great supply of grace sa sining ang mga circumstances sa ilang mga kabuhi. Kabay pa ang kamatuuran sa pagkabanhaw ni Gino Jesus dito sa uh, uh, dito sa Jerusalem that day, first uh, resurrection Sunday, magdalas ang pagpabakod, magdalas ang dako nga comfort, magdalas ang dako nga kaisog, confidence, pagsalig sa amon mga tagipusoon, pag-asa, paglaom nga si Gino Jesus nga napatay, nabanhaw, magkari, liwan sa pagkuha sa amon nga naga nagbutang sang amon mga pagsalig sa iya. Kung may ari pa sa amon tunga o kung may ari pa nga nagapamati sa karon nga wala pa nagbutang sa iya pagsalig sa Ginoo, kabay pa nga ikaw magapanghikot sa tagipusoon, agud makilala niya ang iya kasalanan, talikdan niya ang iya mga sala, magsalig kay Kristo bilang iya personal kag bugtong nga maluluwas sang iya nga kabuhi. Sa ngala ni Ginoo Hesus nagapangamuyo kami. Kabay pa. Katapusan nga bahin sa aton pag-tipon uh, sa sininga uh, aga mga utod, amo ang pag-dumdum uh, uh, sa um, kabatayon ni Gino Jesus. So, si Gino Jesus, nagbilin sa duwa lamang ka mga ordinansya, mga tulumanon sa iya iglesia, nga i-observe uh, regularly. Ang una, amo ang tulumanon sa pagsunod sa iya sa tubig sa tugmao nga naglaragway sang uh, identification, sang union, sang tumuluo sa iya, sa iya kamatayon, sa iya paglubong, kag pagkabanhaw. Uh, that's the water of baptism. Ang ikaduwa, kag ang ikaduwa lamang nga ordinance o kung tulumanon nga ginpili ni Ginesus, amo ang uh, ordinance of the Lord's table or the Lord's supper or uh, Eucharisteo, the giving of thanks or the Holy Communion. Kag sa Sinigaga, Antis kita magatakop aton ining uh, i-observe. Magabasa ako diri sa sulat ni Matthew chapter 26 verse 26 siling sang kasulatan and as they were eating Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remissions of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they were out in the Mount of Olives. May pila ka mga bagay nga dumdumo naton sa sining sugo ni Ginesus sa iyang mga gintutunan kag sa niya mga tumuloo. Ginsugo iya ini sa pagdumdum sa iya. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, gin uh, hambal ina ni Apostol Pablo, ang ginsiling ni Gino Jesus, do this in remembrance of me. So, the Lord's table is first of all, the commemoration of believers of the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary for the penalty of our sins. Napatay siya para sa kapatawaran sang aton mga sala. Kung wala sa napatay, wala gid sang kapatawaran sa aton mga sala. Dumdumo na ito nina, nga natabo kag natigayon, kag ginimo ina, pangon sa ila kong pagigugma, kong grasya, kag sang kaluoy sa aton. So, the Lord's table is our commemoration of the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Secondly, the Lord's table is also our celebration of the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ over the over death and over the grave. At inan nyo, wala siya nagpabilin sa lulugan nga patay, kundi nabanhaw siya kasubong sang ginpamalandungan naton bag-o gid lamang. Ang aton ginapangalagaran, ang aton ginaalaga, ginaalagad nga Diyos, hindi patay, kundi buhi. Ikatatlo, the Lord's table is also our actual proclamation that Jesus Christ really died for our sins. Napatay siya para sa aton mga sala. And if we are actively observing this from time to time, we are actually and practically 
being involved or involving, involving ourselves in the proclamation of the gospel of the death of the Lord Jesus Christ or the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, for uh, our sins, for uh, the gospel of salvation, salvation from our sins. And fourthly, the Lord's table is also the anticipation, our anticipation of his, of the fulfillment of his promise to come again for us. He is coming again for his believers for us. Sila nga po so Pablo, ginahimo ninyo ini, sing masunsun, tub-tub si Kristo magabalik liwan. Himo ninyo ini, tub-tub si Kristo magabalik liwan. So as we commemorate and proclaim and celebrate the Lord's table, we are being reminded that one day or any at any moment from now, Jesus Christ will come to take us up to be with Him and to be with Him forever. Magapangamuyo kita. May namon nga Diyos. Nagapasalamat kami sa imo pagigugma. Nagapasalamat kami sa imo grasya. Nagapasalamat kami sa ginhimo ni Kristo Jesus dito sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Kagkaroon amon gina komemorar, Amon gina dumdum sing fresh ka sa amon mga una nga may pagdayaw kag pagpasalamat sa imo. Kag amon gina silwebrar ang iya kadalagan para sa amon sa nabanahaw siya gikan sa minatay kag amon gina dumdum ang saad na siya magabalik liwan. Kabay pa pakamayuhon ni mo ang kadaisa na ini magdalas ang dako nga uh, pagpaligon kag pagpabakod agud kami magmangin matutom sa pagbantala sa maing balita sa kaluwasan nga gin patigay ni Kristo Jesus sobra na 2000 anyos ang nakaligan for in Jesus name we pray amen so nara nang inyong uh, tinapay kay gin baton ko sa Ginoo gin palaton ko man sa inyo na sa tong gabi nga si Jesus kintugyan nagkuha sang tinapay kag sang nakapasalamat siya gin tipik-tipik niya ini nga nagasiling kuha kamo kaon kamo ini amo ang akon lawas nga gin tipik-tipik bangod sa inyo himuan ninyo ini sa handumanan nakon pagambit kita Sa amuman nga bagay, pagkatapos ang panayapon, si Ginesus nagkuha sa tagayan nga nagasiling, ini nga tagayan among bagong katipan sa akong dugo, nga ginula tungol sa sala sa madamo. Himuan ninyo ini sa masunson nga pag-inom ninyo sa ini. Kaya sa masunson nga nagakaon kamo sining tinapay, kag nagiinom sining tagayan, ginabantala ninyo ang kamatayon sa ginoo. Tub-tub, magakarisya liwan. mag kita. May namon nga lingit noon, nagpasalamat kami sa pribilyo kag kahigiyonan ginatag dimo sa amon to remember to make fresh in our minds again with thanksgiving and with uh, worship in our hearts sang imo kapahayagan sang imo pagpalangga kag sang imo nga grasya kag kaluoy kabay pa magresponder kami pagi sa pagsalig sa imo sa pagpalangga sa imo pagpangalagad sa imo sing matutom Ilabi na ang pagproklamar sa may balita sa iban nga wala pa nakakilala kay Kristo. Huligi ang kadaisa, bisan sa amon sa karon nga kimtangan, nagampo kami sa amon mga government officials, nagampo kami sa mga first-hand responders, our, our health workers, our frontliners, ng amon mga kristuhanon, ng mga doktor, ng mga nurses, kaupod na ang ka, mga kaupod nila. Buligi sila sa sining mga kaigiyonan, samtang nagamasako, sa paghimo sang ilang mga katungdanan naga risgo sang ilang nga mga health mismo para nga mga pangalagaran ang mga katawhan ang pinaka importante lord namon nga pangamuyo nga ang tagsa-tagsa makasapo kag 
makahibalo kun ano ang katuyuan nimo bisan sa amoning uh, uh, sa amoning uh, public health crisis ang pandemic kabay pa nga ang imong halan imo mapadunggan kag ang imo ginuong uh, pagkagamhanan amo ang mapahayag amo ang ang mapabutyag kag ama experiencehan sang kadaysa kabay pa nga ini magatuga sang madamo nga mga uh, revivals sa realization sa madamo nga una-una revival sa madamo nga mga kabuhi sa bilog nga kalibutan again amo ining amon pagpangamuyo kag pagpasalamat bangod gid lamang sa ngalan ni Ginoong Hesus ang amon buhi nga maluluwas ka Ginoo nga amon ginahigugma kag amon ginapangalagaran kabay pa bayong aga sa inyo tanan may the lord bless you remember Jesus is coming again kinanglan ka mag-aman kinanglan ka mag-prepare God bless you. We love you.